All right. It's literally been like five minutes. I, uh, wow. That's what happens. I start coughing and I can't stop. And I don't have the ability to edit. It's an editing program that I'm using, uh, which I showed you at the beginning of the video. I just don't know how to uh, use it. I know how to record with it, share my screen with it. I do not know how to edit things out of the video. So um, I have to stop the video and restart a new one. So here we go. Number two, where were we at? All right. <clears throat> I hope it doesn't start up again. I'm surprised it went that long, honestly. All right. So all 10 virgins um, were the saints of the tribulation and the Jew. Five of them had oil because they are going to be gathered together and taken to heaven. Five of them had no oil because they're not going to believe that Jesus Christ is God Almighty and that he has this free gift. And if you would just reach out and take it, just that simple, um, you would be going to heaven too. The Jews will not believe until the very end where they will weep and realize the one that they had pierced. And so uh, it's super important to understand the word here. There's always that one word that if you're not looking for it, you won't see it. And that word is bridegroom. He's called a bridegroom because he already has his bride. He's called a husband and a bride when they're first married or first together. It's called a bridegroom. I suppose this is before the wedding because a wedding doesn't actually ha happen until the end of the tribulation. Let's see here. Why did I highlight this? What was I thinking? Um, oh, this is the moment of the rapture here. This is in Revelation 4. This is the rapture. Now, John is being taken up into heaven after we're already there. After this, I looked and behold, a door. He's done speaking to the churches. And now he is, um, John is, is, uh, Going up into heaven. After this, I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, come up hither. The sound of the trumpet. Again, trumpet happening on the 15th. But something happened before he went. A rapture occurred before he went. He, well, of course, he was, he, he was from 2,000 years ago. But he is being taken after the event has already happened, and I'm going to show you uh, why he was taken. He was taken in time into the future to see this event. And when he shows up there, what does he see? He sees the 24 elders. The 24 elders are us. He sees the four and 20 elders fall down before him that sat on the throne. That means they're already there. They're already in heaven. And he also sees in Revelation 5, Now thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. I've showed you before, 24 people just simply cannot encompass every kindred, tongue, people, every child, woman, uh, man, Man, woman, and children, I mean, that's four right there alone. And then you have every tongue. You know how, many, how many tongues are on the planet right now? And different people, there's just so many. It just it wouldn't even come close to encompassing. But God promises to take the bride out of all, all of it, okay? Now, here we come up to seal six. I want to uh, put an idea out there that this... These people that have been waiting and waiting, people are putting this out of order right here because they're like, oh, the martyrs. Those people died during the tribulation and they're underneath the, the throne going, how long? What? You've been here 10 minutes. What are you doing? We have only been in the car 10 minutes. What do you mean how long until we get there? No. These are the 144,000. And I posed that to Kelly in one of his chats. And he's like, hmm, that is interesting. That is possible. And this is what I'm seeing. The fifth seal martyrs are those 144,000 virgin Jewish males that died for the word of God. And those two years and under at the time Jesus was born, these children were innocent. 
There have been children dying all over the place, but they do not die for the word of God. They didn't die specifically because Jesus came here. And they have been waiting under the throne. It says, and white robes were given them. You know what the white robe represents? A new body. A perfect body. They got, they get a perfect body in the fifth seal. And white robes were given unto them. Now we got ours back here. We got ours back here. When we were taken in Revelation 4. The 144 get theirs right here. And they were given every one of them. White robes were given every one of them. It was said unto them that they should rest for a little while. A little season. Until their fellow servants also and their brethren should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. There are going to be people during the tribulation. Also, these guys here. They're getting in the white robes. It doesn't say 144,000. That's why I, I, I was work, I've was worked on this verse and worked on the verse, and it almost appears the fifth seal happens way down. And it, because people are like, well, you know, the saints don't go home for three and a half years. That doesn't make any sense to me. And then I find this. These people here, whoever this is, they got white robes. They got it before. They got it during. They're already in heaven. They're under the throne. They're already there. And they get these white robes. But they have to wait a little season. They've been waiting forever. That's why they're asking, hey, how long? But he says, hang on, just a little season, just a little while. Not three and a half years, but a period of time, a little season. What is a season for us? It's three months, 90 days. Is it five months? You know, less than, less than two seasons. You know, a little season and three quarters. I don't know what it is, how long it is exactly. I don't know yet, but... Or maybe I won't know, and that's what the saint will be working on. And they'll have the right timeline to, to work with to know exactly when these things are going to take place. But that they should also be killed because they're going to die. They have work to do. They cannot receive that mark. They must accept Jesus. Jesus is the only way into heaven. Nobody gets to heaven unless they've accepted Jesus. The sixth seal, terror. Six seal terror. And beheld, uh, and I beheld, and he had opened this six seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon was as blood. That's what the moon is used for right there. And the stars of heaven fell into the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, and when she is taken of a mighty wind. And the heavens departed as a scroll when it was rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their place, and the kings of the earth, and great men, and rich men, and chief captains, and mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man hid themselves. This is where they hide themselves. They hide themselves at the sixth seal. What has happened? In the fifth seal, the martyrs, 144,000, got their new bodies. In the sixth seal, it's all come and unglued. Revelation 7, and God's people will be preserved after these things. I saw four angels. Now, this is, this is now the sixth seal. We have not made it to the seventh seal. This, all this terror is happening in the sixth seal. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, and the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor any tree. And I saw another angel ascending. <clears throat> Don't start that again. Ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and to the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. I think that when we go up, the 144,000 virgin Jewish males that were killed for the word of God come down. They're grown now. They come down. They've been waiting for this moment. They come down with perfect bodies, new bodies. Their job, and I heard the number of them which were sealed and were sealed, 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. These are the children of Israel. Their job is to warn everyone during that period of time. To warn who? The Jew and anyone else who will listen. I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000. I repeated that for some reason. <clears throat> now, we have not made it to seal 7 yet. We are still in seal 6. And after this, after the 144,000 are sealed, after they're given white robes, 
after they are back here on earth ready to warn the world about this Satan after that this great multitude remember when we go back here seal 4 seal 5 these robes are not given at the end of three and a half years these robes were not given to those who were killed during the tribulation these robes were given to the 144,000 virgin Jewish males and then they had to wait until their fellow servants came in and when did they die they should be killed they killed were killed at some point before right here in seal 6 terror they were killed at some point before seal 6 yeah, seven, somewhere before seal seven, but here's the 144,000. And, and look at the same verbiage is used here as it was used for the bride. The, the uh, 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands upon thousands is not a number of salvation given to the angels. It is a number of salvation given to the bride. That's how many there are. There are 10,000, tells you the exact number, or roundabout. 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands upon thousands. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number. This is a huge group of people. They died during the tribulation period. They died from famine. They died from earthquakes, from floods, from uh, mountains falling, you name it, from each other. They were killing. They were, you, 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 uh, you know, denounced Jesus. No, and they killed them. There was so much killing going on during this period of time i don't know how long this period of time is it almost seems like it would be anywhere from seven days to five months i don't know exactly how long it is yet after this i beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues. these people are coming from around the planet everywhere they all stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, and they had palms in their hands. There's no crown, no rod, no mansion, no banquet. They have palms in their hands. They are the saints of the tribulation. They cried with a loud voice, Salvation of our Lord God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. So, John's in heaven. Who are the elders? Leah is an elder. She was the elder sister. She had to marry Jacob first. Who was the elder? Barabbas will be there. He is the elder. He will be in heaven. And uh, the uh, thief on the cross will be the saint that goes in here. The thief on the cross, the elder. What if this was Barabbas right here, putting his hand on the shoulder of John, who represents, for example, if he's not a saint, all these people, I believe, are brides, but... One of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And where did they come from? And he said unto me, Sir, thou knowest. You know, I'm not from here, you know. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes. They don't have the same white robe. Ours are brilliant, glowing, shining, illuminant white robes. Theirs are white. They've been washed by the blood of Christ, so they're very white, but they are not like our white robes. They're not the same. They're also in heaven. Remember, they're gathered. They just appear in heaven all of a sudden, and they're gathered up there and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. When did this happen? It happened back here with all this nightmare going on in seal 6. All of that. So many people died there. Okay. And here we are. Finally, Revelation 8, we have the seventh seal. And what is the seventh seal? Yeah, it's, the, it's the trumpets. Nothing happens in the seventh seal. When it's broken, it opens up seven trumpets. There is uh, silence. The seventh seal creates this silence. By the seventh seal, the bride is already in heaven. We are already acclimated to heaven. We already have everything done by the time the saints show up the saints are standing there just bewildered they've got they've washed their robes white and they have palm branches and uh we have this conversation with john about who they are and then and then the seventh seal is opened silence in heaven for the space of an hour a uh, half an hour and I saw the seven angels which stood before god and to them were given seven trumpets now we go through trumpets 
and then we go through bowls. If you're trying to tell me that the six seals take three and a half years and then you can see the devastation that occurs during the trumpets and the bowls and say that's for only three and a half years, I get confused. Now, I, I believe that this might be three and a half years because this begins to happen after Satan goes in and proclaims himself to be God. That's when the mark of the beast will be brought out. So, let's see. Oh, I was looking up how many times as many people, nations, and tongues. Notice this here, though, in, in Revelation 10. Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Hmm. The word kings is added in here. I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to show you that the uh, first sliver of the moon will not be seen until the night of September the 17th, which will be going into uh, September the 18th in Israel. So they're calling uh, Rosh Hashanah on September the 15th. For some reason, I, 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 don't, I don't know how they did that, but also for some reason, child will be going through you know, on the 15th. This is where the moon will be when it's the first sliver of the moon. It's not quite at her feet, honestly. It's almost uh, the 19th. So the moon, I don't believe, plays a part in the rapture of the bride, but it might play a part in the rapture of the saints, or the gathering, sorry, rather the gathering. Oh, Dr. Barry, I wanted to point out that he's the one. I, I mean, I had found the word Kasei already, but he mentions, he skirts along the subject, and I'm like, yes, 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 say it, say it, say it. Kasei means has nothing to do with the moon. And then he's like, and it means hidden moon. I'm like, come on. It does not mean hidden moon. It does not. It means hidden star. A uh, star has its own light. The moon does not have any of its own light. It's a reflection. And there's Cool Cat. You can go subscribe to him. I really love it. Look at his channel. It's really growing. I promote him every chance I get. He's up to 6,000 because he's very knowledgeable. He knows his Bible very well. And, uh, Call out to Cool Cat, um, Kelly. Take a look at those words. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I know I get in the chat room and you know, and it's it's not real serious in there. But I'm serious. Rosh Hashanah means New Year. Study that word. And he mentions in the in, in the rooms like you know what he's right. Chodesh does mean new moon. It doesn't mean uh, new month. It doesn't mean new moon. At least he's seeing it. And with a guy like that who really knows his Bible as well as he does and does his research, it wouldn't. Uh, Surprise me if he couldn't come to the same conclusion that I just did, that the hidden thing that we're looking at is that four-star alginib skirt along the horizon. Um, so then Rosh Chodesh does mean new month. It doesn't I mean new moon. Yarich means moon. Strongs, I'll give you the strongs. Rosh Hashanah Strongs is 8132 and 5614. There's two for some reason. Could it be because it was moved? Rosh Chodesh has one in Strong's 2320. Moon has one, 3394. And this word, Kase, and Kase, well, Kase and Kase, spelled one with an S, one with a C. Some reason they're both hidden, and for some reason we have that happening twice a year. And that number is H, 3677 in Strong's. So, I'd love to see him come to that conclusion. Feast of Trumpets is not on the 17th, Cool Cat. It's on the 15th. Will over worship and watch just, and I, I put it in my community post, and it was pretty mind-blowing. I think he might have found the other wonder in heaven. Remember, there's two wonders. There is the woman that it explains, uh, that we call the Revelation 12 sign, but there is another wonder in heaven, Revelation 12, 3, and he goes through an awesome little 20 minute video here and does some very good explaining on uh, when the other sign occurred. Remember these signs are occurring to warn us of something coming up here. And I wonder if there's any math in between when the Revelation 12 sign happened and when uh, Brother Will's uh, discovery of the other sign that has already happened and Rosh Hashanah, or the day of creation, September 11th, to Rosh Hashanah, September the 15th. I wonder. Oh, I had a video a couple of weeks ago. I thought that Uptime, is this, am I, in, yeah, Uptime Community Church, not the bottom, the bottom was Lee Brainer, but the top one, Uptime Community Church, um, 
has a YouTube, which I really like, but Bob Barber's are always on there. He's on there a lot. So I just thought it was his channel with some different name, but it's not. These guys actually have their own channel, uh, Uptime Community Church, and it's awesome. They get, they get him, Bob Barber on there quite a bit, but they bring a lot of people on there, and they're just an awesome channel, and they're growing quickly. They're up to 8,000 subscribers, almost 9,000. So uh, I wanted to – I had a video. Remember the video that I made a couple weeks ago that had zero volume? whatsoever and so i had to dump it i couldn't i couldn't keep it so uh in that video i did promote uptime i just uh had no volume so you didn't hear me so i'm doing it now uptime community you're doing an amazing job and all your research and trying to figure this out and uh, thank you this is patrick of course he's changed the name to his youtube rapture at hourly watch he's changed it slightly he added the word rapture in there uh, he's the one obviously that has found all of this I think he said it started out with a guy named Michael that sent him that star child. And from there, uh, this, this information has just been flooding into him. And then pretty soon we won't be able to see uh, Virgo for all of the other st stuff and signs and names that are on top of it. There's just so much going on. Oh, that's the last video. Oh, we don't want to see that. That was the last video I had to, to cut off because I uh, started coughing. All right. I don't know how long that is. It's a long video, but uh, there's a lot of information in there. Uh, challenge any um, a studious person to go in there and look up and, and, and just, uh, I, I don't have anything against the moon. Don't think that. It's the, we're the reflection of Christ. We are the moon. I have nothing against that, but we're wrong. Like 90% of the time, not about salvation. We know what that is. We're 100% right about that, but about these dates, we're just trying to figure, we'll just kind of, we're, we're looking through a glass darkly, like uh, Lisa says over her channel, Glass Darkly Ministries. We're just stumbling around. We're blind. We're we're stumbling around with a stick, trying to find something in the dark, and we can't. We're just, but we're we're not stopping. We're going to keep trying to figure it out, right? So just keep looking, keep trying to figure it out, and please go look at those words. Uh, anybody who's really into uh, studying the Strong's and the actual words, Rosh Chodesh does not mean new moon. It doesn't mean moon at all. It just means new month. And every time you see in our Bible, it's a terrible translation from a terrible translation. Greek and Hebrew are not always 100% accurate. Um, their translation, because they will say Chodesh is Strong's 2320, but it means new moon, doesn't mean new month. But then they have this word, uh, Strong's 3677, Kase, and they're like, it means hidden. We don't know what it means. It's been kind of lost somewhere. Let me think. Oh, 400 years yeah, when those Romans took us over and forced us on that new moon calendar, that's when we kind of lost what that word meant. And we're not sure why. They killed all the people that knew. So uh, there's something there. There always is a faint remnant of an understanding of something, and that's the word. And when Dr. Barry said it, I'm like, I'm so excited he found it. And he said new moon. I was like, come on, Dr. Barry. Come on. You know these words. So anyway, again, I don't think it's that important for us. This rapture is going to occur whether we like it or not. I like it. Secretly, I like it. But when it does, that's going to give them a firm understanding of when their time begins. And they're just going to be studying. Is it going to be a week? Is it going to be like I am kind of for them? <laughs> is it going to be five days? Is it going to be seven days, 10 days? Is it going to be 153 days? Is it going to be five months? Is it going to be six months? Is it going to be one year? I, you know? Nine months. The, the the gestation of a baby is nine months. Maybe it'll be nine months, and they're just going to be studying and studying and studying, trying to figure this out. It's not going to be caveman times uh, as soon as we leave. It's not. It's going to be like that for a few days, but then things are going to settle down and get back to normal, and they're going to be just going crazy trying to figure this out. Because some of them will have heard you say, if you see me go, and some of them are going to be like, oh, I know what just happened. Just like when COVID began, the first couple of days, I was like, no, tell my kids, don't go out there. Are you crazy? You're going to bring that stuff back. We don't want, we don't just stay in the house for a few days. You know, it'll go away after a little while. And then I started seeing the news and I started listening to my videos and I, and I they were like, no, COVID's been around. They've known about it. It's on the Lysol bottle. They took it off, but it was on my Lysol bottle, on, you know, in the bathroom. It says COVID on it been around forever um it's the flu yeah it did mess some people up it's the flu it's been around forever so anyway uh like comment share and subscribe please go subscribe to those channels that i showed you especially uh
cool cat. Wow, amazing. Worship and will. Um, worship and will. Worship and watch over will over there. Uh, go see what he shows about that other sign. And um, let's uh, let's keep these. I think we're at it. I think we're at it, man. I just I'm so excited. I think we're here. I think we're at it now. And it's a concealed day. No man knows the day or the hour. Cassé. September the 14th. September the 11th is when creation began. So sorry about the extensive video, but I wanted to get all that information out there for the saints. Uh, hopefully this video gets through to them. Like, share, comment, subscribe, download it, save it for somebody. It's, it's uh, you know, it, it's going to help them during the tribulation. The very worst thing they can do is accept that mark. To die is to gain. That's not the worst thing. It's if they accept that mark, then they die for all eternity, and we don't want that. So we have to warn as many as we can. Um, we have family members, husbands, wives, you know, adult children, um, parents. You're crazy. None of that's going to happen. Everything goes on like it always has. Nothing's going to change. So uh, it's going to change. Oh, it's going to change. And then uh, it'll be their turn to start. They'll get a double portion now. They will get a double portion. And then the 144,000 will be in there and as the martyrs and seal going, how much longer? We've been here for 2,000 years. How much longer? And he's going to hang on. we got to wait for those who are, are also going to be martyred during the tribulation period. And they're going to be martyred because they will not accept that mark. And they're going to believe on me. And how is that going to happen? If they heard you say, if you see me go, accept the Lord into your heart, go to a quiet place by yourself. Nobody needs to know and you don't need to tell anybody. Accept the Lord in your heart and watch the work begin and then go share and get more people into the family that we need. Uh, all of everyone. God will change us and fix us and we'll be perfect again. And uh, we'll have all eternity, all eternity to... Uh, not worry about anything ever again so that's it i think i think i got everything i didn't start coughing again although it could start any second so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna upload these two videos and uh we will chat with you again maybe in heaven i hope i hope that we'll go here very shortly i can't see this i just can't see this going on patrick said it if this sign passes He's like, I won't know what to look at. I've never seen anything like this. I won't even know where to look. And he's right. This is the biggest, I mean, God's like, Amos 3.7. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to let them know. Um, here's one little dot. Here's the, the child leaving the womb on Rosh Hashanah on the 15th. Yeah, I let them know. <clears throat> And he puts like 9,000 other things on it with names of all of the biblical story on it going, now I told you. He told us. Amos 3.7 is very much fulfilled. And you know why? Revelation 3.3, 3, we were watching and we saw it happen. And I can walk out of this and walk into any convenience store and any store and any gas station and say, did you see the Revelation 12 sign reborn again here? Revelation sign 2.0? I, I don't know about number one. They're everywhere. But they will. But you got to tell them so that they know. All right. Repo Men 64. We'll chat with you again. Maybe in heaven. I don't think I'm... I don't... I think this is it. Maybe. I hope this is it. But we'll see. As far as things flooding in for us to see when this is going to take place, they're come, it's coming in really fast. So... Something big might point us even more so. But God's like, oh, you want to be told, do you? You want me to tell you? Okay, here. Bam! And then we'll see it. So, all right, we'll chat with you again.